Hey guys, this is Joe from eattheplanet.org. Today I'm going to show you how to identify a fir tree. You're basically going to be comparing fir trees to spruce, a Douglas fir, which is not an actual fir, it's a different genus, uh, potentially hemlock, and also uh, pine sometimes. So the distinction between pine and all the other evergreens is pretty obvious because pine has long needles. Um, I'm going to go into the details today between spruce, fir, Douglas fir, and hemlock. Fir right here. Uh, first of all, firs are not very common. Uh, so most of the time you're looking at a spruce, that's the most common. Um, what you want to do is look right at the base of the needle. With a fir, there's a distinctive pattern where the needle looks like it's stuck right onto the, to the branch. You can see a definite distinction between the needle and the branch. The base of the needle um, is green on spruce and um, Douglas fir. The base of the needle is, is a very thin attachment. It's brown on spruce and it's green on Douglas fir. But on those um, trees, the needle transitions right into the stem. It's not this clear distinction between the stem and the needle. This is a defining factor for all firs. So that's your main uh, characteristic to at least distinguish that you're looking at a fir. Uh, the most common fir species that I see here in New England is balsam fir um, and uh, white fir. Both of those are landscape plants. But, but like I said, uh, spruce is the most common landscape plant and uh, wild tree that you're going to see that looks like this. The shape of a fir is similar to that of a spruce. So from a distance, it's hard to tell them apart. Something else to look at when you're identifying these types of evergreens is look down the stem from the end. Um, fir tend to be absent of needles on the bottom side. Well, not completely absent, but uh, there's less needles on the, on the bottom side of the twig. And on this fir, there's less on the top side. That's not true of all firs. Uh, hemlocks only have needles coming out the side um, and spruce basically have needles around the entire stem and Douglas fir needles are longer um, and they primarily come out the sides also. In the description I'm going to put a link to identification of hemlock and spruce um, and Douglas fir so that you can compare the difference. Once you know the characteristics that you're looking for, the most distinguished one is the uh, base of the needle, the connection to the branch. Then that will indicate what type of, at least what genus you're looking at. There's other characteristics you can look into to distinguish the exact species that you're looking at. And obviously that depends on what part of the country you're in. Uh, hopefully you learned something today. Uh, feel free to comment. I try to get back to any questions, so if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Um, if you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.